Hey y'all, it's by Devin, and today I'm using I Dipped That and my Maniology plates and my Born Pretty polishes to make a super easy but really cute Mermaid May design. So first I'm going to start with this IDT TTFN. It releases on May 26th, and it is part of their big release that they've done this spring. So earlier in April, they released five new colors that are gorgeous, and then another five colors two weeks ago, and then this will be for more colors, and TTFN is just one of them. It also includes some changers, and they are just gorgeous. You can follow along on my Instagram, find my name in my bio or in the information below to see more of those great IDT colors. And as always, Devin15 saves um, on non-sale items at IDT. This went on so well. I loved this glitter. It has a really great shine and it had this really pretty um, kind of yellowish, yellow goldish color shift in it. It's really, really pretty. I actually, when I finished putting on um, TTFN, I didn't stamp. I wore them for a few days because I just loved the color so much. So I'm going to fast forward to buffing. I did do two layers, and here I'm going to do the top coat. You can see that really pretty color shift in there now that they've got that, that shiny top coat. It was such an easy dip to work with. I really didn't even need to buff. And we're going to skip here straight to the stamping. So this is what it looked like with just TTFN. So pretty, just a really great simple look that's really striking. So I use Maniology Plate BMXL212. It has the mermaid scale in a larger size. It is almost large enough for these longer um, almond shaped tips. And I'm going to use a rainbow of Born Pretty stamping polishes. So I've got my scraper and my stamper and my polishes. And I turned all of my tips around with the free edge pointing away from me because I want to do kind of a rainbow effect. And so I've got my polishes set up in rainbow order. And I'm just going to put on three colors for this first one just like this. And then I'm going to scrape down and you get the prettiest, easiest rainbow effect. It's so easy. You can do it on any kind of stamp. Um, you can do it on a mermaid scale like this or any kind of texture that you're trying to add. Even if your image is not just like a design like this one, it's more of like a picture, it can be really cute for that also. I'm gonna line it up and press it on here. And then because it is just a little bit short, I'm going to go back in and grab just a little bit more with that teal to put up at the top. Maniology plates are super easy to work with. Um, they're easy to clean and they're really great if you're new to stamping. I started with Maniology with one of their free pay shipping only sets and I've been really happy with their product. I feel like they have a good variety. And I also use some of their stampers. So this is their shrinker stamper, and I'm not shrinking today, but the top clear stamper is just so good that I use it all the time. And you can save with my code at Maniology also, and you can find it below in the description. So now I'm just gonna keep doing this same effect all the way across. I am gonna clean between each one um, just so that I don't kind of get a muddled color. I don't want brown. I want my rainbow to show up. And I think for this next one, I'm just going to use two colors. So I couldn't really decide if I wanted the blue to be at the bottom or the top. And I eventually decided I was going to do blue first at what will be the bottom. And then I'm going to do teal. And then I'm going to scrape again. You get kind of a little bit of an ombre in the middle where they get pushed together. So it's so easy. This is just the easiest technique ever. You don't have to be great at stamping to do it. You can be new at it. Um, I don't really think there's too many ways to mess it up. 
you don't have to worry because these are um, thinner lines but not too thin. You don't have to worry about having too much polish or not enough polish. And these Born Pretty polishes are just the right dry time that you have to move quick because you always do with stamping, but you don't have to move super, super fast. I also really like this technique because it's not reverse stamping. Um, you just stamp straight onto the nail immediately. You don't have to mess around with a sticky base coat because the polish is still wet enough that it has its own stick to it. And I love that because normally I do a lot of reverse stamping. And so you have to go in with your sticky base coat and you don't have to do that here. It's so fast. So I did this middle one with the orange and the teal and I will tell you now I ended up actually wiping this off because I decided that it was too much um, I wanted to have a design that kind of let people know that these were mermaid scales and not just like fish scales on my fingers so I decided um, before I started stamping to put a gel base coat. Um, I thought I was allergic to gel, but I think now after a few hesitant experiments that I might only be related or not related, um, I might only be allergic to HEMA. So I did put a gel top coat and the cool thing about a gel top coat is you can use acetone to wipe away your stamp if you mess up. And although I didn't quite mess up on this middle tip, um, you'll see here I put this little white mermaid and I liked the way it looked, but I, I thought it was just a little too much. Um, I wanted to edit a little and I also wanted to be able to see a little bit more of that TTFN from IDT. It is really pretty here with the mermaid scales because you can see that color shift under it. It does have a really pretty kind of scale effect, but I decided to wipe that off and you'll see here in the finished look that I went with something a lot more muted for the middle and I loved how this turned out. This has been by Devin. I'll see you on the next one. Bye y'all.